Dennis, thanks for coming out to the clinic. I enjoyed working with you. We're going to start off with your underwater here. Uh, a couple things I want you to notice. When you're breathing, you're starting your, your pull in the opposite arm too early. So when you breathe here, you see how that, uh, that left arm came down a little early and the right arm is coming down early there. So you want to make sure you keep that arm out in front and you want to try to breathe. Um, make sure you try to make, breathe just a little bit earlier. It's real important. Uh, try to tilt your chin down just a little bit. Uh, just an inch or two, so you're looking closer to the bottom of the, the water. The one thing that I'm seeing uh, primarily is you don't have a, a real strong hold on the water. You're not catching the water and then pulling it back. Uh, you are, you're pushing your hand towards the bottom. Watch, look at the angle of the hand right there, and it's pushing water towards the bottom, and finally right there it's pushing it back. Also note here the uh, left hand, uh, how that hand is actually curving up in the water. So you make sure the wrist is straight, hands are straight, particularly when you're gliding. Now, when you're pulling, you're putting your arm out in front and you're pushing your arm down. You're just sort of pushing the arm down and pulling back. What I want you to think about doing is just putting the arm out there. Try to get the elbow up. Put some pressure on the arm. Don't push the arm or pull the arm back. Just put some pressure on that and then rotate and just let the arm keep the pressure on the arm as you come through. It's a different way of feeling instead of just pulling the arm back. Just put pressure on it so you're feeling the pressure of the water and then rotate your body and let that arm come back. That way you'll hold the water better. The other thing is to do that, you want to get a nice catch. So instead of just pushing the hand down, have the hand out in front, let the hand sort of carve out a little bit, get that elbow out. See how, see how low those elbows are right there and there? And you can see you're almost you're dropping your elbow a little bit. You see the angle of the forearm when you're pulling? That, that forearm should be perpendicular to the bottom and it's about a 40 degree angle there so you really want to try to work on getting that elbow up and over the hand and then pull back you put the pressure on that forearm and hand and then you rotate real important for you to do that that'll be the key and then that will help you swim flatter in the water and you lift those hips up a little bit all right your above water looks fine your elbows are high one thing I'd like to see you do is, is extend your stroke more looks a little shorter than it should be. So when the hand enters the water, put the hand in the water and press it forward from the shoulder. All right, you wanna finish through. And then um, on your recovery there, particularly that left arm, you're, you're sort of trying to finish a little bit behind you, see where the elbows are. Elbows are back behind your head. When you finish, you want that elbow to come out and towards the side. Uh, but you're getting a good elbow, your high elbow there nonetheless. So. I hope that helps and I wish you best of luck.